China's top legislature and political advisory body have just concluded their annual meetings, collectively referred to as the Two Sessions. Uncharacteristically later and briefer than usual this year, these critical political meetings were set against a backdrop of two distinct themes, the global public health emergency and the encroaching deadline for two of China's development goals. So how is China treading the fine line between these two fronts to achieve its important goals? This is Shima Special. Every year at the annual sessions of the National People's Congress and the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, national legislatures and political advisers from across the country discuss the salient topics of the times. President Xi Jinping set the tone for this year's Legislative Assembly from the very first day during a deliberation session with deputies from Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, throughout which the people clocked up tens of mentions. During the discussion, she mentioned a story about how medical workers in a hospital in Hubei province spent 47 days saving the life of an 87-year-old COVID-19 patient. He linked this story to the government's work, saying that the medical team's commitment embodies doing whatever it takes to save lives. Lawmaker Luo Jie works at that hospital in Hubei. During a discussion with his fellow deputies, who included the president, Luo had some recommendations to share. In response, the president told the gathering that the country's disease prevention and control system needed to be restructured, and monitoring, early warning and emergency response capacity should be improved too. Honing the epidemic management system in this way, he said, would tie into the overall improvement of public health emergency laws and regulations. The government work report, which reviews the past year and sets tasks for the one ahead, is deliberated every year by the national legislature. This year was no different. It included plans to issue 1 trillion yuan of government bonds to support post-COVID-19 employment and welfare, as well as penalties for the illegal capture and trade of wild animals. The report also included budget increases to cover vaccines, drugs, rapid testing technology and mobile labs. China's economy posted negative growth in the first quarter of this year. But the government work report called it a price worth paying to contain COVID-19. In light of the uncertainties ahead related to coronavirus and the global economy, China did not set a specific annual economic growth target for 2020. The report did, however, highlight employment, a more open market and public welfare. The report revealed a series of goals and measures for this year. The creation of 9 million new urban jobs, tax and fees for enterprises cut by more than 2.5 trillion yuan, a package of policies to support the development of Hubei, foreign trade stabilised and foreign capital actively leveraged, and China's 14th five-year plan, a development blueprint from 2021 to 2025, will be formulated before year-end. The epidemic has led to new opportunities for development. That's why Xi Jinping attended a panel discussion with political advisers from the economic sector. He called for new opportunities and advances to be forged amid the challenges and changes. One of the political advisers present later reflected on how he would put the president's advice into practice. China is just months away from the self-imposed deadlines of two huge development goals. One is the first centenary goal 
of becoming a moderately prosperous society, or Shao Kang in Chinese. The other, which ties into the aforementioned prosperity, is the elimination of absolute poverty, to be completed by year end. Both goals returned this year in the government work report, perhaps for the final time. At the end of 2019, China had 5.51 million people categorised as poor. While there's still a way to go, this marks a considerable drop from the 98.99 million at the end of 2012. China looks set to achieve the goals outlined in the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development by the end of the year, 10 years ahead of schedule. To secure the success of the world's biggest poverty relief project, 146.1 billion yuan is set for allocation to local poverty alleviation efforts throughout the year. The ambition of the country's ruling party to ensure a better life for the people is the sum of its short and long-term goals. This year, perhaps more than any other, with public health and welfare such hot topics both at home and abroad, the targets seem more challenging than ever. Nonetheless, if there's one takeaway from this year's two sessions, it's the motivating power of doing whatever it takes. <laughs>